morning guys. We are in Indiana. First morning. My buddy's sleeping. I slept in the van outside, but I wanted to get some coffee. And it's a cool little coffee shop here. Morning. Morning. <laughs> we, well, we have our fall drinks. Oh. For now, but we have everything else. We can pretty much make anything. Okay. So I don't know if cinnamon I French toast latte sounds good. Okay. All right, it's gonna be four forty-four. Sounds good. Okay. friend Lee told me there's no coffee shops in town. Seems like a coffee shop to me. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thanks. All right. Wow. This is the cockpit. This is it. This is it. This is my friend Lee. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, I am here in, uh, where are we? Ligonier, Indiana. Ligonier, Indiana. Population less than 4,000. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a little different than Ningbo. Oh. So he's going to show us around uh, his hometown, notable for the Amish. Yeah. And a uh, different way of life. Jewish settlement originally, and then a lot of Amish moved here, and then a large Hispanic population. So uh, Pennsylvania Dutch speaking and uh, Spanish speaking is, is uh, the majority of the people. All English right. speaking is actually like. The least amount. Like we're in a different world. We're not in America anymore. <laughs> yeah, so where where are we gonna go? Let's go down Main Street, and I can show you all the old Jewish homes. Okay. They're huge and beautiful. All right, let's go. Yeah. That's the old North Side School. That was built like 200 years ago. It's uh, not doing anything right now, huh? No, no. They converted it into apartments, and then they found asbestos in it, and then yeah, no more apartments. All right, I'll make a left. This is the old viaduct. This is the only way through town across the railroad tracks from the north side to the south side. So you probably rode your bicycle or something under here quite a thousands few times. Thousands and thousands of times. Oh, there's an Amish guy. Look at his bike. Ah, wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. How do you know he's an Amish guy? Look at his, look at his, of course he's Amish. <laughs> you see his beard and his stocking cap. Sure to drink water. That's a kind of a funny thing to uh, write on the <laughs> back. <of> the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a nice public uh, public uh, announcement. That's the Carnegie Library, built by Carnegie. So that's kind of cool. So did he live here? Or no, here? no, no. He was just a architect, right? These are all the old Jewish homes. You can see how big they are. Yeah, that's the synagogue. It's the oldest synagogue in all of the Midwest. Yeah, there's a plaque there, actually. Oh. Some of these homes have elevators in them. Oh, neat. Yeah. The Jewish settlement, yeah, this house, really beautiful. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this video, that's a little bit quick. We can, we can go back through, you can drive slower. No yeah. one cares. So how long did you live here like, uh, before you moved to China? I grew up here. Um, since I was a kid until high school. High school. I moved out to California for four years and then China. And then I was there almost 20 years in China. Yeah, so 20 years in China. Does this still feel like home or does China feel like home? China feels like home. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Nothing changed here. Yeah. I've, I've been gone for 20 years and nothing has changed. 
<laughs> Everything changes in China. Daily. Daily. I, I, yeah, I won't even recognize it when I go back, I'm sure. Yeah, this is your typical American Midwest, you know, Midwest city. When I was a kid, I had a part-time job working for the school, and I painted all these curbs. The you, yellow. Paint, you painted the yellow? Yeah. Oh, originally. Originally. Yeah. My aunt was a bus driver. She drove us to and from school. <laughs> so I lived on my aunt's route. Everybody has a story with regards to their, their hometown, you know? So 4,000 people live here. About. I think it's less. Between three and 4,000. There's a ravine over in that corner, left over from like the Ice Age or whatever. And wild marijuana used to grow there. And oh, like the, natural? Yeah, yeah, hemp. And they, everyone would go out there and pick, pick it and try to smoke it, but not get high. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it was just hemp. A for effort. <laughs> yeah. Marijuana is still considered a heavy crime in Indiana. Okay. A heavy crime. Like you will go to prison for it less than an hour from here. We could be in Michigan. Yeah. And buy smoke it all you want. <laughs> That's the splash pad that my grandfather. Let's walk over there. Yeah. So Lee's grandpa was a notable fella in the in the area, right? Yeah, he was head of parks and recreation. He built this uh, this water park area. Yeah, what do you call it? A splash pad. Yeah. Kids could just come down here, like 12 noon to 8 p.m. during the summertime. It's just open. Anyone could walk in, play in the water. He hated the idea of kids playing video games all day. Yeah. So he had this idea. At the other park, he built a skateboard uh, park. Too. Skateboard park. Yeah. It feels surreal to be fucking walking with you. <laughs> it's very strange to be uh, two guys that are Americans that met in, we met in, China. in China, in Ningbo, yeah. and now we're meeting again in America. It feels like yeah, it's yeah. not it's, happening. It is surreal. surreal, it is surreal. In your hometown, of, of all places. I know, crazy. Do you guys, do you guys know uh, marshmallows, s'mores, those yes. puffy little white, uh, scrumptious, sugary delights? Those were invented right here invented the, here the jet puffed marshmallow yeah <laughs> and every year for labor day they do the the marshmallow festival and uh they every year they have the guinness world record and every year they make it just a little bit bigger like a three thousand pound marshmallow the size of a bus wow single marshmallow three thousand you always think of marshmallows as being light and fluffy you don't think <laughs> of a of such a fat heavy marshmallow and then at the last day of the festival they actually like cut it up and hand it out to the people for free and you can just eat this giant marshmallow i don't even know what a, like what imagine <laughs> like getting handful. getting full eating marshmallows <laughs> right. normally it's just like a, it's just like a dessert In the Midwest, it's like the second most highest population of Amish in, and Pennsylvania. Is like the what? First. Like you got a thousand Amish people living here? Oh no. 500? Uh, 100? Much, much more. Uh, oh, oh, more. Yeah. On oh, the countryside, it's mostly Amish. I'd say probably five to seven thousand. They specialize in corn and soybeans here, right? Yep. yep. And a lot of the soybeans are used to make sorghum. Is soybeans make sorghum or oh, is it corn? No, uh, or is sorghum a separate thing? Yeah, it's another it's another crop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so soybeans go to tofu, go over to China. The corn goes to grain to feed cattle. And uh, when they, they rotate these crops and uh, on off seasons and they grow sorghum, it replenishes the nutrients in the soil so that they can grow soybeans and corn again. And the sorghum also goes to China to make uh, Chinese baijiu. Yeah. <laughs> There's no flower on it yet. This is a completely different style of life than I'm used to. <laughs> where's the big Farmland, <laughs> farm life. Yeah, where's the where's the high rises? <laughs> or Detroit, where's the automotive factories? Right. Smells nice. I wish it was a nicer day. The drone shots would have been a lot nicer. You know there's uh there are Am Amish farms because there's no power lines connecting them. Yeah. They're literally like you could tell like like this one over here is not Amish because it's got a power line. Yep. Right? Yep. You but this one, but that one over there, that red one, that one's Amish. They're just totally, totally disconnected. You guys watching this video right now, think about how much you depend on, you know, the internet and 
power and no internet, no heating. Phones, no phones. They must heat with like a fire, right? They have a fireplace mm -hmm. or a, or something like that. Wood mm -hmm. and dried manure to heat their homes. Dried manure is lasts a long time. You know that that that's like uh, it's like coal almost. Yeah, you know you're in Amish town because these tracks here, that's where they repair the the ruts, right? The yeah. ruts from the wheels of the. Uh, of oh, the no, wagons. The, 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 the from the horses. From the horses. The horseshoes mess up the pavement. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I guess the wheels don't do much. It's more or less the horses. And you see piles of poop everywhere. Piles of poop. You call them road apples. Ro road apples? Road apples, yeah. Come up to Indiana and have a road apple. <laughs> <laughs> This is downtown Topeka, Indiana. Take a right, yes. That is a nice sound though, the sound of the, the clotting. Yep, so they either go by horse, horse and buggy, or bicycle. Watch out for the fresh road apples. Oh, this is Tiffany's. If you want to grab something to eat. Hungry? Yeah, if you want to grab something yeah, to eat. Let's grab a bite. Yeah. Um, it's about lunchtime. Right? Yeah, all the waitresses here are okay. Amish. Look at all those, uh, the parking lot. Yeah, that's the Amish parking lot. We can walk up to the buggies and stuff. Yeah, of course. That's kind of cool, eh? For sure. To have you recording me from the outside. <laughs> For sure. So this is what? This is the this is the parking lot, Amish parking lot. There's they have, a hitch and post. They have license plates. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. They're just sitting around. Yeah. This one's pretty fancy. It's got a windshield wiper on it. Oh, wow. But they turn them by Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just kink, kink, kink. That's cool. Huh. Upholstery is nice. I bet the, the interiors are probably pretty nice. Amish people are known for, uh, you know, making good cabinets and good interiors and stuff. So I got to imagine the inside of these things are pretty nice. Look at the sign. Mm -hmm. Whoever Dave fought is, he's a, he was a popular guy. Somebody pulled his sign down. <laughs> Super quiet in here. It is quiet. Very quiet. Mm -hmm. It's like quiet, like a like a Japanese subway train. If you're in Japan, no talking on the subway. No talking in the in the Amish diner. I bet the food here is pretty good. Delicious. Can't get more fresh than this. Have you ever had an Indiana breaded tenderloin? No. Well, you know, a bun is about this big. Yeah. The tenderloin's about this big. It's it's thin. It's like okay. yeah, it's super thin, but it's like a tenderloin is like this giant piece of pork meat and the bun is like this big and it's all actually on top. It looks yeah? really weird, yeah. I got the salad bar. These really, really tasty. The, the jalapenos. Uh -huh. Fresh. Oh super fresh. Everything is super fresh. That girl has uh what are those things that come off the back of your shoes? These things? Spurs? Oh. Spurs. Yeah. Cool. For the real stuff. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, All looks right. Great. Cool. Can I get anything else for you? Looks great. Looks okay. great. Thanks, Enjoy Linda. Your meal. If you're Appreciate it. it. All right. My first, uh, my first Amish cooked meal. That looks pretty tasty to me. Look at that. That's a pizza yeah. burger. Ooh, that looks good. Bon appetit. How's yours? Delicious. Pizza burger. Has the rain stopped? Uh, the rain has yeah. stopped. You feeling a little sprinkled? I don't see any puddle. Uh, yeah. Any any drops in the puddles? Yeah. All the Pretty all good. the all the horses and buggies have left. Yep. Lunch is over. Time to get back to. Time farming. to get back to work. Hello. You want to walk into a livestock auction and watch the Amish? Could. Buying horses. So this is a livestock auction, and they're buying and selling horses here, I guess. Can I fly the drone in here? It would get loud. You lived here, man. This is your home. Hometown. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I don't know. How much how much does a horse cost? Could I could I tie it to the front of the transit? Buggy life? Van life? 
you can tell by the looks on some of these guys' faces that like mm -hmm. a lot's on the line, right? You bring your horse here, you better sell it. Like you don't want to make you, pa you've angry. I'll have to be careful if I get a booger or something. I'll be like sold to the guy with yeah, the yeah, weird yeah. hat. Oh no, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, you'll end up buying a horse. So that that horse is named Keisha. She's she's black a, a black filly with a hot mom. 